What up? This is Rama Screen, and I'm here talking with the stars of Welcome to Bloom House's new movie, Blackest Night, which arrives October 1, Asia Cooper and Keith David. How are you, Asia and Keith? Wonderful. I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. Thank you for taking the time. Asia, let me start with you. You were very young when Katrina happened in 2005. Hmm. Did you have recollection of that tragedy? Or if not, what was your research into uh, that to prep you for this role? Because Katrina's an, uh, aftermath is so embedded in the story of Blackest Night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was young. Um, I think maybe I was in middle school, but I was uh, I was living in Dallas, Texas at the time. So I remember that a lot of people moved to Texas um, mm. afterwards, or not moved, but they had to they had to leave. And a lot of people went to Houston and they came to Dallas. Mm. And so that that I remember about Katrina was a lot of new implants were in my school. And they were talking about how they had to just up and leave and how traumatic the experience was. Um, and that's what I remember growing up. And that's pretty much what I brought to, um, to, uh, to the role of Shauna because Shauna was also young. Like it wasn't like it had just happened for her either. So it was all a memory. Thank you for sharing that. And Keith, this is not your first rodeo with a story set in New Orleans. Every, uh, we all remember Dr. Facilier. Talk to me about your emotional connection to New Orleans, uh, the city that's been beaten down many times by Katrina, but it's still resilient, still standing. What do you think is the meaning of such legacy? You know, New Orleans has a wonderfully rich history and they always <clears throat> bounce back. Uh, part of what the, you know, part of what the, uh, I think the, the, the the film is about is how so, everybody doesn't feel the same way about the manner in which it bounces back or how it how the bounce back is handled. Uh, hmm. I, I had I had uh, a couple of very close friends who went down and volunteered in the thick of it hmm. uh, when it was going when it was going down and I and I remember, <clears throat> you know. Um, you know, just I, you know, I guess a little bit like Babino, the deep disappointment I felt in in the way the government was handling the recoup. Uh, you know, the the I mean, the absolute snail's pace that they uh, that mm -hmm. you know dragging their asses about, you know how, uh, you know to, to to get it back on its feet and to help help people out uh, to to recover from it. It was just that was that was tragic to me. Yes, sir. Thank you for sharing that. Um, on a lighter note, though, I want to. I'm curious, uh, Keith. How long did you have to sit in that makeup uh, prosthetic chair to transform you into the creature of the night? <laughs> I don't remember now. I mean, you know, uh, did that help with your enough. performance? Huh? Did that help with your performance? Of course. You know, you put when you, you know, I'm still, I'm still like a kid when you, you put the costume on and you. <laughs> put the teeth in and put the eyes and you know all that stuff and all of a sudden boom you're transported that was fantastic I, that that was a wonderful time you know it was right right at the beginning of covid so it was like uh that was another you know situation so uh uh it was all so interesting you know the the story the story paralleling with what was going on in real life, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, Asia, fun question for you. Um, <clears throat> if you were to fight a vampire, what would be your weapon of choice? I know the list is long from garlics to silver Ooh. to to steaks. What would you use? What would you do? Um, honestly, I would probably do, I think it would be really cool to like make the wooden steak like into bullets and then be able to like put them in a gun and then shoot them from afar. That way I don't have to get so close to them. Because that's putting yourself in danger, you know? So uh, thank you so much for talking to me, you guys. Uh, for everybody else, uh, go watch uh, Black as Night arriving October 1. And uh, Keith and Asia, thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you.